welcome back to my channel thank you to my subscribers welcome to the newcomers i hope you like what you see and if so be part of this journey with me by subscribing give it those thumbs up it's very important to circulate the video ask any questions i'm here to help you and i can't thank you enough for all your support and all the beautiful comments in the crochet groups thank you so much everyone we're going to create this I can't say it's really that small, but it's not that big. So it's a, a medium small, let's say that, um, dolly. And it's got a few pineapples on the end. You can make it bigger by adding the center piece at the beginning as you go. Or beginning, not really the beginning, but the middle. You can go bigger and bigger, and then you cut down slowly. So this is a very fast, easy pattern to make. For somebody that crochets pretty well, you can make four or five of these a day. Very simple. For a slower person, you can make one to two a day. So very simple. You can attach it together on both ends, make it a table runner, or just use as dollies in small tables or small areas um, in your home, or makes beautiful gifts also. You can alternate the colors also. You can put different color in the middle and change colors all around. I use 100% uh, four-ply cotton thread, needle number three. We'll need a scissors, and we're going to get started. So thank you so much, everybody, again. So the first thing we're going to do is the magic ring. So you turn once in your two fingers, or if you have a hard time, just as if you're making a little bow tie, a little knot or something, okay? Okay. And then pull the thread inside and we're going to do 24 chain stitch in here this would be considered going up uh, chain three this would be considered a double crochet already so we're going to proceed with 24 of them coming to the end we're going to lock it up on the third uh, space here at the end I'll meet you at the end so we've come to the end and now we're going to close it, lock it in the third place with a slip stitch. Now we're going to pull onto the magic ring just to close the circle a bit. Now reminder, the thicker your thread or your yarn, the bigger the piece, the piece will be. If you're using, if you want it uh, not so big, you want just a small little tiny pattern for small areas, you can use Aunt Lydia number 10. If you want it bigger, than this then use uh, Aunt Lydia number three cut and thread okay we're gonna go up three chain again on the same space we're gonna do another uh, double crochet so this would be considered two double crochet already so we're doing the second row okay we're gonna skip one space and we're going into the next one and um, sorry do one chain separation the next one and do two double crochet so we're going to have 12 groups of two double crochet together one chain again skip one space next space two double crochet we're going to do this all the way around on this row so very simple nothing to it one chain separation skip a space next space two double crochet together so nothing to it once you have your 12 groups, we're going to lock it in on the third place up here. So we've closed in on the third place. We're going to go up chain three. Next space, we're going to do a double crochet. And inside where we did the one separation, we're going to do another double crochet. So now we're, we're adding. Okay, so the next we're doing seven rows the same way as we're doing this one now. We're on the third row. So repeatedly, it's going to be seven rows counting from the second row. If we're going to count from the first, so you'll have eight rows. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight rows. Okay. And we're going to do one two chain separation we're going into the next double crochet and doing a double crochet next space 
double crochet. We're going inside of the middle uh, space where we did the one separation. And all the seven rows of these um, motifs, it will be two chain separation always. So two chain separation, next space to double crochet from the previous row, and next space again, and inside of the space of the one chain separation. So we're going to be repeatedly just adding one, two chain separation into the next space, double crochet, next space, double crochet, inside of the middle where the one chain separation and two chain separation again into on top of the double crochet from the previous row, next space, double crochet, and next space. So now we're going to have groups of three. And the next row will have groups of four because we'll be putting on top of these ones and one in the middle here. So we'll have four, five, six until we reach um, two, four, six, eight. Until we have eight double crochets with two chain separation always and always one inside of the square where, the, where it separates. Okay, so continue doing repeatedly the same thing. Chain, two chain separation, double crochet on top of double crochet, next space double crochet, and inside of the space here, double crochet. So do your row and I'll do mine. So we reach the end. We're going to do two chain separation and lock it in third place with slip stitch. So now you got your 12 groups with three double crochet. Go up three chain, one, two, three. That'd be considered double crochet. Next space, double crochet. So now we're gonna have groups of four. Next space, double crochet. Where we have the two chain separation, we're doing double crochet. Two chain separation again. We're doing over the double crochet from previous row and we're continuing on. So like I said, this is going to be repeatedly the same way until your seventh row. One, two chain separation. And continue to proceed with a double crochet over double crochet. Sometimes if the video is too fast for you, please go on top. On the right corner, there's three little dots. Click on there, go into settings, and slow down the video for some of you that cannot keep up following me. Because sometimes I forget that I'm recording and I'm just yapping away or in my bubble. So I apologize for that. Also, I apologize if I don't know all the codes yet to the crochet. I am still learning, so please bear with me. Okay, so two chain separation again. and double crochet over double crochet and one where the two chains separate. Okay, so we are gonna do this way. Like I said, as you see here, we are on one, two, three, four. We're on our fourth row, one, two, three, and four. So we have the four and then we're gonna have five and then we have six, seven, and eight. So we're going to have all together, starting from the beginning, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight rows. So you know that your, your last row here has to have eight double crochets before we can proceed of cutting down the stitch, okay? So I'll meet you at the end of the seventh row, and then we are going to proceed with the eighth row, which will be a little bit different. Okay, so nothing to it, something very simple. Just keep adding one in the middle here and your groups keep extending. So we started with two, three, four, five, six, seven, until your eight double crochets are in there with two chain separation and always put one inside of the space. I'll meet you at the end of the seventh row. Okay, you guys, because I had an advanced one here that I had started earlier, 
and I forgot to completely record so that's why I showed you on the white so now we finish doing the uh, eight rows all together one two three four five six seven eight eight rows all together so it would be the seventh rows from the group and you're supposed to have two four six eight double crochet inside now because we are going to start cutting down okay cutting down and we're going to start to um afterwards after this row we're going to start creating the beginning of the pineapple so on your ninth row from the beginning right ninth row from the beginning one two three four five six seven eight we're going to start the ninth you skip the first double crochet and you come into the second double crochet okay you single crochet slip stitch single go up one two chain because of the single makes three next space double crochet next space double crochet and next space double crochet so basically we're going to cut down the double crochets okay so now we're supposed to have seven double crochets here like that okay so we're having seven double crochets now we're going to do one two three four five six seven chain for some of you that your stitch is too wide too loose do only six again we're going to skip the first one here and we're, we're always going to skip the first one until the end of the pattern now okay always skip the first double crochet until the end of the pattern so now we're going to have seven next row we're going to have six next row we're going to have five and so on until we meet only with one double crochet okay so now we are here with seven we're making this loop here and then we're going to have six five four three two and one and now uh last one here double crochet and again one two three four five six and seven we're going to skip the first one go into the second one and we're going to proceed this whole row the same way like this so now we're going to be having groups of seven double crochet okay with a separation of seven chain like that okay so I'll meet you at the end so we finished doing the last one with seven chains we close in on the third space with a slip stitch we're going into the next space slip stitch because we don't work the first one we'll only work the second one we will have three chain and do the double crochets inside we're overlapping all the double crochets from the previous row so now we're going to have a total of six double crochets two four six so we are on row 10 one two three four five six seven eight nine we're starting row 10 now one two chain we're going to count from here four space one two three on your fourth space in the middle of the of the loop if you want if not you can just grab it from the middle of the whole thing i prefer to do it this way so i'm going to do it this way okay so now we are going to do uh six double crochets in here two three four five and six and we're going to do two chain again one two and go into the second space here 
double crochet over double crochet and do our group of six double crochets so this row will be repeatedly the same all the way around one two chain again skip one two three on the fourth space you do your six double crochet three four five and six two chain separation And skip the first one going to the second one and do your six double crochets very simple to do not hard at all and like I said it's a fast pattern so and it makes a beautiful pattern beautiful dolly or table runner if you're doing it bigger you would extend more on the rows here instead of being just eight you'd go nine ten eleven till the size you'd like your center to be before you start cutting down okay so do yours and I'll do mine okay so we're pretty much finished doing the tenth row we're gonna go over to slip stitch the next space go up chain three and do double crochets now in this row we're gonna have groups of five double crochet Just like that. One, two, chain. And now, as you can see, we've done this one. We are on this one here now. So we are going in. I'm going to do a uh, three, three chain. Go in the middle of the space between the two double crochets with a single crochet one two three chain again in the middle single crochet one two three chain again in the middle single crochet one two three chain again in the middle single crochet one two three chain again in the middle single crochet so as you see here we have one two three four uh, loops one two three and four one two three and four loops okay sun is hitting too much over here give me one second okay that's better three chain we're gonna skip the first one into the second one double crochet so we're gonna have our group of five double crochet and this row is going to be repeatedly the same way again one two three chain come into the between the two double crochet the first single crochet one two three next space single crochet one two three next space single crochet one two three chain next space single crochet and one two three chain again like that three chain Oops. we're gonna skip the first one go into the second one and do our five groups of double crochet next space double crochet next space double crochet and last space double crochet so you're gonna do that all the way around 
three chain separation into each loop single crochet three chain separation here and five double crochets from each at the end okay so we pretty much finished this row we're going to go into the next space slip stitch because we're cutting down three chain next space double crochet next space double crochet so now we're going to have a total of four double crochets one two three go into your first space single now if your stitch is too tight do four if it's too loose do only two i forgot to mention even here so one two and three next space single because we're cutting down on these ones on the pineapple two and three chain next space single one two three chain next space single one two and three and we skip the first one here and doing our four double crochet so very simple nothing to it one two three chain separation going to the first loop single one two three chain next loop single one two three chain next loop single one two three chain next loop single and one two three separation and into the second double crochet so this row will be repeatedly the same way do yours i'll do mine and i'll meet you at the end okay so we finished doing this row we're going to go into the next space one two three chain next space double crochet so now we're gonna have groups of three double crochet one two three four and five chain if yours is too loose do only four one two three one two three chain and into the next space one two three four and five chain skip one space so you skip the first double crochet and do your group of three We're going to repeat this row the same way one two three four five chain into the first loop single one two three chain into the second loop single one two three chain into the third loop single so now you're going to end up with two loops we have one more loop to finish it up one two three four and five chain and continue to do your groups of three double crochet i'll meet you at the end okay you guys so we pretty much finished doing this round we've locked in the third space we're going to slip stitch next space one two and three now we're going to do groups of two so this is the pre-last one two three four five six chain into the loop with a single one two three into the next loop so now we're going to end up only with one loop there as you can see one 
two, three, four, five, and six. If your stitch is extremely tight, give seven chain stitch. And create our two groups. One, two, three, four, five, six. Into the next loop. One, two, three, chain. And into the next loop with single. So like I said, if you find that it's too, um, too tight from here, then do seven. Okay, to make sure that it does, it's not going to crumple up. I'll meet you at the end. Okay, everyone, so we are going to create the last row. So I'll wait, go over next space. One, two, three chain. This three chain is for your double crochet. And then we're going to do eight more chain. One, two, three four, five, six, seven, and eight. So you're going to have a total of 11 chain stitch all together. We're going to go into the last loop on the pineapple and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, and do our last double crochet. And again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Into the last loop on the pineapple, single crochet. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And do our last double crochet. So this is pretty much what it's going to look like as you already see on the lavender one like that okay so very easy and fast like I said I hope you're going to create it let me know how it went and I thank you so much again for being part of this journey I am going to do the little recording at the end and with the pictures so you can always look at the recording as I display it and you can see how it looks like on the counter or whatever you want to put it on top of. Thank you so much everybody again for being part of my journey. Please give it those thumbs up to the video, help it circulate. Newbies, I hope you're going to uh, be part of uh, this journey and I hope you're going to subscribe and you're going to create these beautiful pieces either for yourself or you're selling or as gifts. I thank you so much, everybody. God bless. Stay safe. Thank you. Until next time. Bye-bye.